hope you enjoy and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Hey YouTube, my name is Crystal and I have another hair review for you guys and it's uh, another affordable hair review. This hair was under $20 if you don't count the shipping. But if you, you can go to your local beauty supply store and probably find this or find something that looks similar to this. So let me just tell y'all about the hair. This is the Sensational Canubia Easy 5. It's a premium blend and it's um, the Natural Bohemian. I got it in the color number two, but it comes in other colors besides natural colors. It has a wide variety of special colors, and those are just the, you know, if you want it all burgundy or like all honey blonde, or if you want it to be mixed or ombre, they got those. So the hair did come with the closure, but the closure was so janky. The lace was soft, like super, super soft. So I didn't even try to pluck it. I was going to keep it as is because I seen some other girls when they made their videos, their closure looked it, looked it. Their closure looked okay, but my mine was janky. It was like kind of zigzag it did not look like an invisible part it did not look like they plucked a straight line down it was like let me hurry up and get this down the assembly line it was i don't know i threw it away but here's how it looks on the packaging and you have the option of cutting it open and making it into an invisible part and i didn't see any point of doing that because I did not want any leave out so what I did was I just made this into a like a full half wig but I kind of did um, come up here and make it so I can have the option of cutting the wig into you know so I into a U-par wig just in case if I changed my mind it was like yeah I do want to leave out so um I made this on a spandex dome cap this is the first time that I was able to successfully um, make a wig on a spandex dome cap because usually I end up making a mistake and sewing through the spandex or I'll just mess up some kind of way but I did this one okay i would say and i put combs in the wig i use those clip combs actually and i have two in the front and i put two on the sides i don't really like combs in the back because you know the nape is the part of your hair that tangles the easiest and i do not want that problem and what i did was i sewed on top of the wig. I'll try to show you guys because I know it can sound very weird how I'm explaining it but I sewed on top of the wig for the comb and so I can flip it over flip the comb over and under my wig so I won't be sewing through the spandex. Hopefully I remember to show a clip of this off of my head how it looks there are two combs at the top and two combs at the bottom but they're more like on the side so I sewed the wigs like at the top of the cap and that's why they kind of stay like that and I just fold it under and I open it up slide it in and close it okay <clears throat> excuse me some more <coughs> excuse me. um some more details about the hair is it comes with a 18 20 22 inch bundles and 
the whips are thin when i say the whips are thin you know if you're doing a sewing or if you're making a wig you're supposed to sew through the wealth one time at first so you can make sure that it's secure on the person's head or on the dome cap. I wouldn't recommend it at all. The wealth is so thin that the needle is too big to go through it. And then since the wealth is so thin, it can't really hold the hair that well. So that's just going to cause even more shedding than it would if the whips were actually thick and the whips were kind of long which I really don't like that this is my second time buying synthetic tracks and the whips have been thin but long which is very stupid to me just make them thick and short get it over with another thing is that um since you know the whips are thin they can't really hold the hair so the hair does shed quite a bit um some good things about the hair is that the hair does look realistic it can blend easily with relaxed hair or natural hair of course it can blend with natural hair just do you like a wash and go or twist out or do what i did i just slick the front of my hair down and i wrapped the ends around my ponytail and if you're relaxed you can do that also or you can because it is kind of shiny but you can add baby powder on it to give it a shine but if you're natural you just I have the front of my hair flat ironed at first because of another style that I had and it blended pretty well and I just wrapped the ends around or you can do a braid out twist out whatever um, the hair is like so soft. I can't lie about that. And the hair will kind of look in between thin and in between thick once you first put it in your head. But if you separate it really well, it can separate on its own. You won't have to make it separate. So you can just pull the curls apart and it will get really big. But another thing is, like in the middle of the day the curls end up clumping back together which is kind of weird and it won't be big anymore and I really didn't like that but what I use is the motions foam wrap I put it in my hair and I separate it really well or if it was looking frizzy I do that and I also spray some water I also put some motions foam wrap lotion in here too so I won't have to keep going back and forth but for an initial review I've only had this hair for a minute it's only been like a day so that's all I really have to say about this hair only good things so far hopefully when I come and do a week review then I'll have more information hopefully still good information to tell you guys and the reason why I'm going to do a week review is because it's curly synthetic hair you really don't know if it's going to last or not so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up oh that look ugly <laughs> but don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and don't forget to subscribe i mean support me it's free like thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe